Hey folks, welcome to another update of Mixed Universe. This is the uh, UI update. As you can see, the entire UI has changed. Um, but before we get too far into it, I'm going to show you this mix from beginning to end. We're going to go over all the new stuff and then talk about the future stuff. So stick around. I'll show off some cool stuff at the end as well, and uh, we'll have a good time. First off, thank you all for playing the game so far and having patience over the last few months. Uh, after early access release, I started getting vertigo attacks, and I mentioned this a few times in posts and stuff. Turns out it is something called Meniere's disease, and it's uh, perfectly normal, I guess, for some people to just randomly become dizzy. Uh, at least now I know what it is, and I'm able to treat it in some sort of way, and it's been a lot better since. And that is the gist of that. So, uh, yeah, this whole spaceship, by the way, this was uh, made entirely in-game. There was no, like, editor support or anything like that. It's literally using all of the in-game uh, interface. So, this is... Like, it's blowing my mind that this is the game now. So I am, I'm, uh, I'm super stoked. Quick overview on just how this works. You might notice that underneath the starship is like this section of layer switching nodes. These nodes, when they activate, they change layers. So if I were to go to the very first layer that we started with here and go to one, you'll see everything disappears and we are now in layer one. Layer one is the layer that's on the entire time. So this layer doesn't turn on and off at all. And when these activate, you can see when I hit T on this to test it, it'll turn on and off layers. So when this activates, the next layer turns on and so forth. So it just kind of runs through this entire chain of patterns until it gets to the end. And that's how the structure of the mix that you just heard was made. So when we have everything activated, it kind of looks like a loading bay of layer switchers. I don't know. I thought that was kind of neat. So as I said before, this is the UI update, um, which means pretty much I've gone through and adjusted almost every single UI thing. And the biggest thing that kind of got wiped off the face of the game was the 3D element. When I select something like this drum node, there's no, uh, no, no UIs anymore that happen around the actual elements. It's all in the side panels now. The amazing part about it is it's all multi-select compatible. So when you select multiple nodes at a time, it's not going to show you 50 UIs anymore. It's literally just the one and everything is editable. So, so what I can do is I can double click and it'll give me all of my selection. And now I can do any edits to this. So if I want to turn all these off, I can just go ahead and hit the power button. And now they're all off, turn them back on, mute them, everything. All of the different actions that you have just work in this multi-edit fashion. And one of the cool things is say like this one has different duration. If I change the duration to be longer, and then I double click again to select everything. You'll see that there's like this little little dot that shows that, okay, my selection has something different inside of it. So that's kind of warning me that, hey, if I do an edit to this, one of these is gonna lose like some unique values, which is fine in this case, because I kind of want to just make them all the sound the same. If I go ahead and click, you'll see it'll apply the 
the length to it. So if I do something like On top of that, the note editor has a, a complete overhaul to it. You'll see here, like, you can already see that the note editor looks completely different. You can still see the individual, like, note values if you hover over stuff. But what you can do now is you can go through and say, okay, I want to shift this up maybe an octave or a, a semitone in this scale. So I can just hit the up button on that and then play it again. Put it back down, and then maybe if I can go up an octave as well. Like, that's just... So that shows just how versatile the note editor is now. And along with being able to show you, you can see, as it was playing all those notes, it was highlighting all the different individual sections. So this is your currently selected note, and then all of the different ones on the side highlight uh, as they play now, which is really fun to watch. On the topic of selection, there's box select. Look at that, I can select everything all at once and then I can even filter select too. So in this little list here, I can click this and to select the node type or I can go back and if I wanted to select the links, I can select the links. If I go back, I can select this box instead, these little boxes, that's cool. And then I can also rotate and copy and all that stuff, all with the box select tool. Yes, so much power. You may have also noticed that it's snowing in Mixed Universe now. Uh, this is just a fun winter edition that I added for the game uh, to also demonstrate the future of having different worlds. So if you click this button down here, it'll cycle between two available worlds, the default and then a snowy version. And this is just showing that the technology exists and uh, I'm going to be able to expand upon it, hopefully in the future, not too long from now. I can feel your attention span starting to wane. Don't leave yet. Look, here's a mix that started as the other mix, but I never finished it and I realized I wanted to do more. So this is what the other one is and I don't know if I'll ever finish this one. On to the next thing, the drum UI got a complete overhaul as well. Well, it, it changed a bit. So if you can see, this is the drum beat that we have here, a simple snare. And you'll notice by default, there's only two notes showing up here. That's because it has an option to collapse on used rows now. But if I take a look, you'll see it'll match what's going on here. And then I can select each individual thing. And I can also change the different sliders. And I can click one and drag across the entire thing to quickly change. Do it with pitch as well. I can even do the note. Also now everything has gamepad support. So all the UIs that you just saw Look at this, I'm doing this with the gamepad, pretty sweet. You can also double click to make it faster so you don't have to click and drag on the gamepad, but it's cool if you want to actually still click and drag on the gamepad, you can do it. You can also do all this stuff. Oh my, that sounds wonderful. Hold on, what does that sound like? Yeah, that's kind of fun. Anyway, gamepad support is is in and for the most part it works pretty well the it some stuff is still quirky and i need to work through it but a lot of the ui stuff that happened was because of gamepad support any of the menus that have a lot of stuff in them are starting to get categories now these categories will get icons as they solidify more but there's like flow you can have patterns and stuff under the flow sounds you get drums all this stuff i can add more to that later and then there's new stuff under the voxels in visualizers there's these cube pieces and then under the structures there are these new pieces here, which are all laid out here. Not that many, but you can build a lot out of this. You can go ahead and take these, and this is kind of what these are made for. They don't blend as smoothly as the other voxel nodes. So if I go and I take like this voxel, and I go to here and blend here, you'll see that this one 
they blend very smoothly together. But the cubes are meant to kind of use as a way to either blend inside of other things or blend, make like bridges across stuff uh, a little bit nicer. But you can make little little uh, grass patches inside of metal this way or uh, or whatever. And the nice new stuff that you can do is you can rotate any of these visualizers now in a different axis. So you can see here if I have this uh, this cylindrical this cylindrical tub right here, and then we take this and we rotate it. Got these two. You can also make them spin. So these each have this rotation uh, value that spins. You'll notice the collision doesn't quite spin with it, but that's fine at the moment because we aren't really walking it. Later, when uh, when walking is added to to head bob, uh, we'll have to make sure that that works. But Right now, you'll notice that this spin value also, when I play, is beat synchronous. So it'll follow the beat. And any of these things can do it except for voxel nodes. So you can make this triangle spin, and you can also make the triangles uh, have a 90 degree rotation. So you can use them for cool like struts and stuff like that. So you can make like a little bridge platform here pretty, pretty quickly. And now you have something uh, to work with. That looks kind of cool. In the future, there's going to be some uh, snapping controls, but right now there's you're just going to have to wing it and uh, use the power of your eye to snap them into the perfect spots. Another really cool note is the Voxel plugin now doesn't crash when there's more than 150 nodes, allowing you to do th this with it, which... Okay, it's not scary at all, and my GPU is not actively melting. Before I talk about what's next for Mixed Universe, I'm going to finish off this section with five nodes. So before, if you place five nodes, right, you can get something that sounds interesting. Cool, and if I play it over and over, and I take a look at the note editor now, I can go ahead and revive if I don't like it by clicking this button. You'll see it, it does tend to stick in a very specific range, but you can go ahead and use the other buttons to kind of help offset. Or if you want to change the different scales, or have no scale at all, you can do that as well. So it just gives you a little bit more options to play with for vibe nodes. In the future, I'd like to make it so that they kind of are a little bit smarter about what they're picking. And like I've said in the past, here's an example of someone who doesn't have prior music creation knowledge, but using the vibe nodes to make something cool. And this is made by uh, Clumpy Dumpy. But it was honestly super cool to see that vibe nodes are helping create melodies and I think just expanding upon that is going to be really neat. There's some fun stuff on the workshop at the moment. There's one called the worst thing ever made uh, which is interesting and then we have Big Bob is getting angry and there's a there's a few fun ones in here. It's fun stuff so if you have something that you're working on you want to share with people join the discord and upload it to the workshop because we are always eager to hear and please don't don't worry about whether or not you you think it sounds good or bad, it doesn't matter. Just upload it. For 2024, as we head into the new year, the main gist starting off is going to actually be doing the tutorials because the tutorials need to get done and I can finally do them without feeling blocked uh, by UI issues or gamepad stuff. So get those done hopefully in January and then move on to other stuff like playing mixes back to back and any other really cool things that I want to do. I've noted, I put all this stuff in the release notes, so... Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for making it this far. And I'm really excited and I'm really stoked, excited and stoked to keep working on the game and keep making cool stuff. So show me what you make, join the discord and thanks.